In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect Fluent CRM with Amazon Simple Email Service. This is by far the best combination for your email system, and I've been using this for many, many years. Let me show you step-by-step step how to connect this. So the first thing you wanna do is to search for Amazon Simple Email Service, and you land to this onto this page. So what I'm gonna do now is to sign in into my console. So I'm gonna come over here to the top. Now, if you don't have an account, you need to, uh, sign up for an account it's absolutely free all right so now that we have this the first thing you want to do now is to head over to the top here and search for ses now it's important you do this because it makes it easy for us to get to where we need to go all right so now that i've searched this is my first result i'm going to click on that and now this is going to take me on to this dashboard Okay, so now that I have this, the next step now is to head over to identities. So we're going to come over here. So as you can see here, I have quite a few uh, domains I have already. So I want to add a brand new one. So in your case, this could be that you have nothing on that list and you're starting from scratch. All right, so what we're gonna do is to come over here and click on create identity. Okay, so this identity here is going to be a domain. So I'm gonna come over here and choose domain. So this is where we need to enter our domain name. So I'm going to come over here. Now my domain is on hover.com. So I've logged into hover.com, but in your case, it could be that uh, you're using any other domain registrar, registrar. It doesn't really matter where you've registered your domain because the features that we're going to go through pretty much are identical across board. All right, so the domain I need to work on is this one right here, uh, ruoorganic.com, and the tab we need to go to is the DNS. So we're gonna come over here to the DNS. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just gonna copy my domain here, go back into my dashboard, and I'm just gonna enter it over here like that. Okay, so now that I have this all set, we're going to sc scroll down here to easy DKIM. Okay, we're gonna select that. And the option we're going to choose here for our signing key is this one here, the top one, like that. Next, we're gonna scroll down here and we need to uncheck this published DNS route 53. Okay, just get rid of that. And I'm going to leave this as it is. I don't need to create a tag. And then on the bottom here, is where we can go in and create our identity. Okay, great. Our identity now has been created. And uh, how do we know this? Well, uh, we can see now that we have a bit of information here. And I can now come to publish DNS. And this is the information now I need to come over here now to my domain registrar and in this control panel, the DNS, and this is where I need to create my record types. Okay, so the record types I need to add are the C name. So I'm gonna click on add a record, click on this drop down, and then choose C name. Okay, it's important you do that. So now we need to copy our host name and target name. So let's head over back over here so this here is going to be my host name. So I'm gonna to click to copy. And then over here, I'm gonna click and paste. Command V. Back over here, I'm gonna copy the value again, and then add my value here. So we need to do this about three times. It's important that we do it three times. So let's add another record. Click on the drop down, C name. Back over here. We're gonna copy the second uh, pair, copy that, come back over here, we're gonna paste, and then we're gonna go in and copy the other one and paste as well. And then we're gonna do the final round, add record, click on the drop down, see name again, and then we're gonna copy the last ones. So I'm gonna click here to copy I'm gonna paste it and then copy the last one here and paste it. Okay, great. So I can go ahead now and click on 
add record. So these are the three records that we need to uh, add and pretty much we are done here. Now, if you want, you can download these and, you know, save them uh, safely if you want to do that. But, um, you know, it's up to you how you want to do that. So what we're going to do now is uh, now that we've entered, you can see here it says pending. So sometimes if your domain registrar is fast and you refresh, usually, you know, it will say that, um, you know, it has gone through and it has been um, verified. So for now, I'm going to leave this as it is. And I just want to double check and make sure that uh, there's nothing else to be added here. And sure enough, everything is fine. Okay. So I'm going to try and reload the page again. But if not, we can always come back and uh, get this sorted. Okay, so next we need to go to the top right of the screen where we have uh, my name here, which is Mac. I'm going to click on this drop down. And what we're going to need to do now is we need security credentials right here. I'm going to select that. Now, on the left here of this um, panel, what we need now is choose users. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. So we need to create a brand new user. So I'm going to click on create user. And then we're going to give this a name. So this is going to be Rua Organic. Next, we're going to come over here and click on next. Now, the option we need here is attach policies directly. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And then over here on this drop down where we have our permission policies, we need to search for SES and hit enter. And we can see here we have Amazon SES full access. This is the one that we want. We're going to select it. So we can see here we have all this information and it just tells us that this is full access, which is fantastic. So we're going to go back to our tab here and then we're just going to select this one here, which is the Amazon full access. We're going to scroll all the way down and then click on next. And then finally, we need to create a user. So we're going to go ahead and create the user. And as you can see here, we have a new notice that says our user was created successfully, which is fantastic. And here we can see Rua Organic is added over here. Okay, so far we don't have any activity because we haven't set up anything yet. So now we need to create our keys. So I'm going to click here on the user like that. Now, before we create our access key, we need to head over to our website. So we're going to go to Rua Organic and we need to install a plugin called Fluent SMTP because this is what is going to connect Fluent CRM and Amazon SES. So Fluent SMTP is going to be the middleman. Okay, so what we're going to do now is come over here to plugins and then click on add new plugin. Search for Fluent SMTP. Now this plugin is absolutely free. Okay, so here it is. Now, in my case, I've already gone ahead and installed it and activated it. So that is why it's saying it's active here. So what we need to do now is to scroll down and head over here to settings. So all you need to do is just to hover over here and then we just need to go all the way down to Fluent SMTP. Okay, great. So now that we are on Fluent SMTP, we need to enter our information on the settings tab. So right here, you can see we have this uh, email. I don't even use that. So let's get rid of this. So I'm going to say add another connection. And then I want to choose Amazon AWS like that. So from email, I'm just going to put a temporary email for now. And then from name, I'm just going to say Mac. So now you can see this is where we need the access key and the secret key. Okay, these two keys are very, very important. So let's head over here and create the keys. So to create the key, you need to click on create access key like that. And the one that we need is the third party service. So we're going to go ahead and select that. We're going to scroll down here. 
I'm going to confirm and then click on next. So we need to give this a description. So let's just call this raw organic. that and then we're going to click on create access key so now my access key is created so I'm going to copy the access key here like that and then we're going to head over to our site and paste it over here like that okay great the next step now is to add the secret key so we're going to come back over here so all you need to do now is to click here to show and then copy it by clicking here so now that I've copied it, I'm going to head over back to Fluent SMTP and then I am going to paste it like that. Right. Now, this part here is super important. If you get this wrong, then your connection will not work. So when you set up your, your account, you're provided, by, you're provi you're provided with um, a connection here. So in my case, mine is Ohio. Okay, so you need to make sure that it matches. Okay, so now I am going to go back over here. Make sure that I have US Ohio selected. So by doing that now, I know it's, it's pretty much um, using the same, is it data center? I don't know. Anyway, it matches. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on save settings. Okay, great. So now that I have this, of course, this, this is about um, deleting logs and so on. I'm just going to say save. All right. So all I need to do now over here in my dashboard is just to click on done. And pretty much I'm good to go. I can see my status here is active. So what I'm going to do now is to go back and see if my account now has been um, approved. So I'm going to go back to Amazon Simple SES Identities. And now you can see RuralOrganic.com has been verified. Yes. So the next step now is to test and see if the emails are sending. So I'm going to come over here to Fluent SMTP and making sure you have this tab selected, uh, email test. So I'm going to say from Mac at Creative Astro, and then I'm going to send to funnels to income at gmail.com. So let's go ahead and test. Now, before we test our email, I, want, I also want to discuss something that is very important. So once you um, set up your domain and it's verified, you also need to verify an email that's going to work with the domain. So in this case, you can see here we have funnels to income.com and then we also have Mac at funnels to income.com. We have sidecrafter.com, Mac at sidecrafter.com, Div University, DivUniversity.com. So we also need a Mac at Raw Organic or hello at RawOrganic.com. So I don't have an email here, so it's going to be a bit tricky for me to test my email because it needs to be connected with the domain and it also needs to be verified. So what I'm going to do at this stage is to test a verified email. So I know here the email address has been verified for Mac at SiteCrafter. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to... Um, our domain here so again we're going to head over to dashboard come all the way down here to settings and then we're going to choose fluent smtp all right great so just like what we did before we need to head over to email test and then we're just going to say from and you can see right there this is my email, Mac and Side Crafter. And now we're going to um, test this email with funnels to income at gmail.com. So I'm going to say send test email. And this should work because everything is verified. And sure enough, you can see here test email has been successfully sent. Okay. So when you send your email or when you set up your email to for verification in your in your panel here, it is um, it is important that you set it up 
because if you don't set this up, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to have an email where you're sending from. So once you've set it up, you are going to get an email to verify, which is similar to this. So you're going to just need to click on this and this is your email verification to confirm that this is your email address. So that's all you need to do and pretty much you are good to go. You can start sending emails and uh, in the case of um, sitecrafter.com here, I mean, you can go in and see all your email logs. Now, as you can see here before, right? I hadn't set Fluent CRM with uh, Amazon SES here. So that is why all these emails here were not working. And you can see that they have a retry here. But these ones here are pretty much working, which is fantastic. So that is how you set up Fluent CRM and Amazon SES. Go ahead, try it out. And definitely you are going to save a lot of money. And the service here is very, very efficient. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.